It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the Thunder from Down Under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Relegation Regen Rebuild... PSG. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild here with PSG. A, a poor run of form has seen us slip back down now to fifth position. We need to turn things around and we'll try and do that in this episode. We've got one game before the transfer window opens, so I'm not sure how many games we'll get into this one. Uh, I'm pre-recording, a little bit pressed for time, but we'll see what kind of action we can get in here once that transfer window opens. It could get a little crazy, only 17 and a bit million to pay off on our debt and uh, then it is a free-for-all to try and turn this side into something special. Let's get into this episode. No player upgrades, I will catch up on those, uh, you know, once I filter through and uh, get back to normal proceedings, so let's jump into it. Right, we've got an offer in here for Yannick Roussein for 1.2 million. Uh, we are going to agree on that one, it was uh, delegated, so 1.2 million for Roussein. If that goes through, he'll be leaving us on the 1st of January. Right, a transfer offer in here for Concechal. The offers are coming in, the transfer window isn't even open. 2.7 million, we'll send a delegation. We want to pay off that 17 million. And now we get a transfer offer in for Jamie Kelly, 690 grand, we'll send a delegation. All right, everything's heating up here, getting close to that uh, transfer window opening. Uh, an offer in for Edward Dehan, 940 grand, well, there's a delegation. And an uh, agreement of a million for Jamie Kelly, and an agreement of four million for Contichau, we're gonna have to agree to both of those. Right, first game of the episode, I'm changing things up here a little bit, we're going with a 4-3-3. Um, Casella and Mock push forward, our nays drops back a little bit, still playing a central attacking midfield role, but maybe defensively this can help us out a little bit. Oh, the form has been down, so we may as well try something here against Stade the Rhyme. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What is this, match day 19? Taking on Stade de Rhyme and the final game before the transfer window opens, and who knows what players will lose once January hits, but if we can pay off that debt, well, then it is a free-for-all to try and really turn this side into something special. Let's get into this game and uh, see if we can find three points to finish off the year. Oh, nice. No, a little flick on. Finds Pedro. Plays it through. Here's PC Mock. Good save. Clear away. Oh, Cassell, that's a lovely outlet ball. Amaral will run on here. There goes Amaral. Oh, great defence. Oh, good ball from Pedro. Mock again in an advanced position. There's a delivery. Cassell! Yes! Get in! Cassell with a lovely finish. And the advanced winger is cutting inside. And we've got a new direction home to score. Cassell with his fourth goal of the season. He has been quiet over the last few weeks, but here he is popping up. We could go for on a golf course. He's seen Mock. Well, hasn't he made that side his own here in the first team? Contichau looking like he might be transferred out of the club. Well, who cares? Because PC Mock is ripping it up on the right-hand side. He can sell out muscles his man, gets the finish. That's 1-0 to PSG. Just the start we needed. Touch from Weber. Mock just tries to play it through. Barbier gets the touch, and that's a lovely ball from Barbier over the top. Here's Arnais. Trying to deliver it inside, and we will get a corner. This G reinvigorated. The corner, playing in short, driven deep. Oh! Oh, well, is the captain there failing to get up our nays? And they get an equaliser. 41 minutes gone. It's a ball into the box, and we needed some tall timber around. Our nays couldn't rise. That's some poor form there from the skipper. Look here, Arnaiz was in a good position to jump. Jumped over the top and Rossi didn't even see it. 1-1. Well, there is half time. It's 1-1. The passing game they're putting on here is quite hot to handle. They've had high percentage of the possession. It's 1-1. Marches one. one forward. It's big Barbie air. Well, he shouldn't be the man streaming forward. He's the central defensive midfielder. Corner here for PSG. Ribeiro! Oh, what a save! It's a touch on, finds Arnaiz. It's a lovely touch from the skipper. Oh, Amaral, get out there, make the play, son. Why are you so fucking slow? Charge the fucking ball. 
Might make the changes. Cassell for Olsen. Jesus for Edward Dehan might be his last game. And Kozichiao, possibly his last game. Lovely from Ribeiro. Here is Arnaiz. Plays it out for Kozichiao. Fresh legs from Kozichiao. Everyone pushing in forward. And it's Amarillo. Oh, what a save. Brilliant save from the keeper. Corner. Amarel. Oh, Concession. Oh, well, he could be on his way out the door, but he's got himself a goal here, his second of the season. And it's an absolute seagull effort. But it was right there, right place, right time. Makes it 2 1. Here, we've got a boot on it. Put one into the keeper's face. 2 1. Get in, boys. Vero. Finds Arnaiz, slips it forward, here's Olsen, he'll chip on forward, and it's Edward Dehan! Oh, his first career goal, and he could be out the door! Well, it's 3-1, Paris have got a run on here. It's a class finish, Olsen with a lovely ball inside. 3-1 PSG, and the new formation has come to life here in the second half. Arnaiz just slips one through, he's the playmaker. And well, that is a lovely little finish. 3-1. Tackle from Barbier. Ribeiro. Barbier. Olsen gets the touch on. Still comes Olsen. Plays it back. Amarel. Bang! It's 4-1. Oh, this is more like it. Amarel gets his eighth goal of the season. Ties up the uh, internal golden boot with our knees. There's still two minutes to go over in this one. Well, the boys are flying. It's bloody young Olsen that's really turned it on here. He's checked in and created mischief. 4-1. Oh, Olsen just throws a boot in there at the end, but what a turn of form. 4-1 to PSG. Well, there we go. 11 shots to two. Even they, they hold possession. We hit them hard and we hit them heavy. Olsen with two assists, a 9.4, an 8.3 for Cassell with a goal. 8.7 for PC Mock with an assist, a 6.7 for Pedro, 7 for Rossi. Wasn't really required today. 7.4 for Weber with four intercepts, 7.5 for Schulter, 7.7 7 for Dammer, and an 8.7 for Ribeiro with eight defensive efforts. Huge. 8-1 for Dehan checks in, gets a goal. Thank you very much for turning up. Barbier gets an 8.2, a 7.8 for Arnaiz with an assist. And Kotschow gets a consolation goal there with an 8.7. Amarel an 8.3 with a goal. Get voting up in the eye if you're player of the match. All right, everything's happening now as the transfer window approaches. We've got an offer in here for Rashid Karishi. It's only 370, so we'll send a delegation. The Kelly deal did break down, but Rousse has been sold for 1.2 million. He'll be leaving us on the 1st of January. All right, Contichiao has been sold. He will be leaving on the 1st of January as well for 4.05 million. Right, Connor Brennan has come and said that he wants out of the Youth Academy. Now, I'm not sure if we sign him right now whether we can try and sell him in uh, January, but I am going to bring him into the first team. And we're also going to promote Giles Blondieu at 1.1 million and see if we can sell him in January. Transfer offer comes in for Shinauda for 9.90. We'll delegate. Right, and it's an agreement for Edward Dehan to go for 1.2 million, so we will be accepting. Right, 1st of January, Contichau, Rousset, and Harris have all left. Uh, so currently we sit at 12.63 million. I'll keep an eye on that as we move through this. Not a lot left to pay off here at PSG. Another transfer offer in for Jamie Kelly for 680. We'll delegate. Right, we get an agreement here for Karishi sale, 390 grand. We've got to accept. Right, a transfer offer for Sunso O. Uh, we'll send a delegation, an agreement of just over a million for Shinauda. We're going to have to accept. Oh, Harvey King still trying to get out of the club. He's got another offer in here, which we will delegate. No, fuck it. We're going to just accept that one, see if we can get him off the books. And the agreement for O is for 780 grand, which we need to accept. Right, time to get into the next game of the episode. We're going to continue with this 4-3-3 formation. Uh, we've got a big win there in the last game. Let's see if we can do it here against Stade Ren. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. What is this, match day 20? I'm starting to lose count uh, with the amount of games I've played in the last two days. But, um, yeah, a, a good turn of form there with the new formation. Let's see if the boys can do it again. No changes to the starting lineup, although the bench will have to start being shuffled. No contest out. He is gone. So uh, let's get into this game. Touch from Mark. 
Fires forward. There's Amaral. Look inside. Ferranais. No, picked off out the back. Here is Pedro. He finds an opening. Tries to pull the trigger, but he's blocked. Ferranais lays off. Pedro! Good save. Oh, great save, Rossi. Big save. That's better. Corner now. Play this one in short. We'll find a little bit of touch here. Dummer gets in. Cassell tries to get a touch. It's going to and groove. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Lovely controlled outlet balls. There's Barbier. He'll flog this one long. Cassell will get there in time. Drives in for Amarel, gets the touch, Mock was there, didn't see the ball at all. Oh, another corner here, we'll look for Big Shota, who's missed. Well, there is half time, we've had some shots, but it's still nil all. From Cassell, Arnaiz, Barbier gets the run here from Pedro. Pedro, we'll look forward here for Cassell, on the blast. Cassell gets in. Well, we found a spot for him in this 4-3-3 formation. Pushing him forward and he's become electric. It's only his third, fourth, fifth, sixth goal for the season. I've lost count. But 1-0 PSG. And look at this ball from Pedro. Cassell was off. He was going to finish that every day of the week. Thank you very much for coming. 1-0 PSG. Oh, nice. Lovely touch. Amarel flicks one on. Here's the counter. Mock plays it inside. Amarel! Oh, good save. Oh, we get the corner out of it. Nice drives in. Oh, Amarel! Oh, yeah. Found the opening. Found PC Mock. Lays it off for Pedro. Good save. The corner. Drives in. Oh, Cassell went for it. Mock gets the touch. Shota! Amaral! Nobody! Right, let's make the changes. Jesus for Lars de Vitt. Barbier out for Valente. And Mock checks out for George Olsen on the right hand side. De Vitt plays it through. Arnais! Oh, almost got a boot on it. Right, they've got a corner here. Let's be careful. Amaral's on the front stick. Someone needs to get up. It was Cassell, I believe. Valente! And there's the whistle. Rossi with a big punch. And three points for PSG. 16 shots to six. This formation is working for us here at the moment. Pedro with the assist and an 8.3. A 7.6 for Rossi. Seven saves today. An 8 for Beba. A 6.9 for Schulter. 7 for Dama. A 7.1 for Ribeiro. 5.8 for Lars David. A 6.5 for Sainz of Valente. An 8 for Arnaiz. Uh, a 6 for Olsen. A 6.9 for Amarel. An 8.3 for Cassell with the goal. 7.4 for PC Mock. And a 7.9 for Barbier. Get voting up in the eye if you're player of the match. Right, we've got a transfer offer here for Jordan Davies for 490, which we've sent a delegation and the offer accepted for Jamie Kelly for 900 grand. Right, Rashid Karishi sold for 390 grand. And we have an agreement for Davies for 550, an agreement for Brennan for 800 grand. Right, final scout reports are back here in Belgium. Now, we've got some lads who have been keeping an eye on and uh, some new lads as well. So Noah Willem, 75 to 91, a left midfielder. Probably not a position that we need at this stage. We've got a lot of wingers coming through with potential to be special anyway. Uh, Luca Vudas, 48 to 58, 75 to 93. Not that we really need a central attacking midfielder either. Uh, Hugo Dupont, though, 47 to 61, 75 to 94. I like the look of this lad, so we're going to bring him in. And uh, Tom Verstraite as well, 71 to 94. Let's get Dupont and Verstraite into the academy. We are, of course, here in France. We've got a left back to bring in in Jeremy Pasquier, 72 to 92. And we are, of course, here in Poland. We've got the Zayak brothers, uh, Krasalviak and Dabrowski. And the only one I really like the look of, actually, is Dabrowski. So let's get him into the academy. 
Right, we need to send our scouts out once again. So in today's episode, I need some more countries. Thumbs up, and uh, the highest ones will generally get the call up. Uh, the first one comes in from Sam Coe, who wants us to go to France for any, because there's not enough French players in this squad. With 40 thumbs up, well done to everyone. We're heading off to France. The next one comes in from Marco Inelso, who wants us to go to the Ivory Coast for strong. Uh, okay, back to the Ivorians. 23 thumbs up, well done. And the final one comes in from the Huang official who wants us to go to Japan for physically strong. He's hoping to find a world-class Japanese player. 21 thumbs up. We're off to Japan. Right, Jamie Kelly's move has broken down and so has O's. And Shinaldas. All right, Edward Dehan has been sold for 1.2 million. And we get an offer in for Giles Blondeau, the lad we just signed from the Youth Academy. Um, we put him straight on the transfer market just to uh, try and cash in. 1.1 million. I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to accept. All right, time for today's player upgrade. Just the two games with uh, the transfer stuff going on. Uh, Lars De Witt is uh, a, a Dutch central attacking central midfielder. If you want to make any changes to his number or kit, let me know in the comments section down below. And uh, we'll get him upgraded in a future episode once I catch up. So good luck. All right, let's have a quick look at the Youth Academy before we wrap things up here. Uh, some of these players will make their way in at the end of this transfer window, you'd feel. Jane of Jacobs looking very good. 90 to 94 potential central defensive midfielder. Uh, Mikolas, 86 to 92. Looks as good as well at uh, right back there. Moskopoulos, 82 to 92. Only 5 foot 11, so we'll see what happens with him. Mark Ennis, 79 to 93. A left midfielder. He's a playmaker. No, you're not going to do it for me. I'm going to release you straight here. Uh, Ender McDonald looks pretty good. 64 overall, 89 to 94 position. Uh, Jason O'Connor, 82 to 88, a right midfielder. Another playmaker. I don't want playmakers on the outside. Release. Uh, for straight, we just brought in 60 overall, 71 to 94 potential, technically gifted. Kieran Crow, 84 to 90, a left winger. We'll see how that pans out. Hugo Dupont is a right midfielder, 75 to 94 potential. He's a playmaker as well. Why are the playmakers out wide? No, thank you. Dabrowski, 73 to 94, defensive-minded. We'll see how that works out for him. Zindelis is an 83 to 93 striker from Greece. Uh, Loic Bernard, the goalkeeper, 15 years of age, 61 overall, 74 to 94 potential. And Jeremy Pasquier, the left back, 72 to 92 potential. Good strength. All right, that is our current youth academy, and we'll probably make some signings uh, once this transfer window is over because we're going to need some more squad depth by the looks of things. And that is where we finish today's episode, 38 points. Uh, the new formation has seemed to work for us definitely in this episode. So we're back up to fourth position and in a hunt for a European spot. But that's where we'll leave it today. A bit of a quicker episode, just trying to make sure there's enough content going up while I uh, am away from home. But um, yeah, smack the like button. Share the series with your friends. Enjoy the channel. We have Patreon now if anyone's uh, interested. There's a, a Patreon link uh, on the main page if anyone wants to go and uh, support the channel. That would be amazing. And we will see you in another episode. I'm Spyro DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now, you can jump over to their website now. Use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product. I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you want to know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on that website. If you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.